your source for news from Cinegear 2018. Indie Shooter, brought to you by Akidio, Band Pro, Blackmagic Design, Carl Zeiss, and Panasonic. Clip with Indie Shooter, continuing our coverage of Cinegear 2018, and I'm here with uh, Richard of Akidio. Richard, we talked at linked at NAB about some new products, but when you see something that's bright red on the table, you know that it's hot. So we'll talk a little bit about what we're looking at here. This is uh, our new product that we're doing with a partnership with Intel. Intel, as you probably know, created the new Intel Optane drives. Uh, supposedly the, the best drive out there. I think they are myself. Uh, it's groundbreaking technology. Uh, they don't degrade over time nearly as much as any other drive ever did. Uh, they're super fast in both directions, whereas a lot of companies are only fast reading but slow writing. Intel apparently spent a couple of years trying to get everything right so that you're not only reading fast, but you're writing just as fast. And you know, they're, they're super drives. And Intel gave us the opportunity to, to team up with them and create the enclosure, which is basically uh, a form of our regular node light enclosure, but we wanted to showcase the drive more, so we put this little window in, and it's got LEDs on it and stuff. Yeah, the drive has LEDs. Now, one of the coolest things you were telling me about this particular drive is uh, that it's uh, that it uh, no degradation over years, yeah. right? It, it'll degrade, I suppose, you know, eventually, but nowhere near like a regular SSD would degrade. So, buying one of these for say, the, I think the MSRP is like twelve ninety nine just for the drive, but it's going to outlast. 10 regular drives. So if you think of the cost of 10 or 20 even regular SSDs, it's probably a bargain. No, absolutely. So uh, you guys are partnering with them. So are you guys selling this as a complete unit? Or? Yes, we're going to sell it as a complete unit. Um, it's going to showcase the, the Intel drive, and it's just going to still be branded as a Kidio on the front. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, uh, it's uh, Thunderbolt 3, right? Thunderbolt 3, two Thunderbolt 3 ports and a display port. So if you wanted to add another monitor, through the display port, you could. If you wanted to add another monitor through the second Thunderbolt port, you could basically have three monitors. All through the one box. That's wonderful. And uh, so, are, are, is it available now on the website? Or? It's not available yet. Um, Intel is ramping up right now with their production. We're ramping up with the production of the enclosure. We're hoping by the end of the month to uh, have them available. Excellent. Now, one of the things that uh, Super impressed me uh, at NAB was this device here. Uh, talk a little bit about this hub. This is our 10G Doc Pro. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, we're the only company that I think even has any designs to make a 10G Doc. Um, basically, we have a regular 10G, which is you know simple bus power 10G. But if you want more for like $100 more than the regular 10G, you can get the 10G Doc, which will have three USB ports, has an SD card, has a CFast slot. And it's got two Thunderbolt ports, again, a display port, 10 gig Ethernet, and an eSATA port, just in case. You know, a lot of uh, video surveillance people, they still use eSATA. So it could come in handy for them. No, absolutely. But the, the key thing here is a CFast 2.0 reader as well as a, a SD reader, because uh, this camera that we're using right now, the Blackmagic Arso Mini Pro, has both of these. So it's conceivable that you'll be utilizing both uh, sets uh, of of uh, data that you need to uh, I've download. Spoken with Black Magic about uh, you know we're not going to do an actual Black Magic bundle, but you know through some of our resellers and distributors, we may offer some sort of a a bundled product with with the camera. So if you are a Black Magic user, you definitely want to take a look at this. And this is uh, is this available now? Uh, again, probably the end of the month. End of the month, and it's called what again? The Doc Pro. The Doc Pro, and uh, you guys have it on the website right now, though. Yes, right? yes, we do. Now, talk a little bit about these guys over here because uh, this is yeah, this is our basic uh, Node Pro. Mm -hmm. It's just a large PCIe box. Um, it was basically invented to put a Red Rocket X in, something like that. Mm -hmm. Easy to open, screwless design, and then you just put the drive in there, the whatever card you want to put in. It wasn't uh, designed so much as a GPU holder. A GPU box. It was more designed for like a Red Rocket or any other PCIe card. But I know that a lot of people who are buying them are putting GPUs into them. You know, it'll work just fine. But that's not what it was designed for or what it was certified as. So, uh, 
and this one is the Pro, and then you have uh, another version of it? Yeah, we have the uh, Note Duo over there. I'll show you that one in a second. Another big thing about this is the handle on top. Oh, you know, people just people love having the handle so that uh, they can carry it around. So, like, people doing land parties or if they're doing post on the run and stuff like that, they're on location, it's and solid. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't go, like, one way or the other. Right. We no, it's... put it towards the back a little bit where the power supply offsets the weight. And it's easy to, you know, it'll snap down into place and... Flush, sleek, it's nice. The two-bay, we call it a no-duo. <laughs> mainly because it has dual slots. And it's basically uh, also, again, a PCIe box. Not really intended for GPU cards. Some GPU cards may work in it, but it wasn't intended for that purpose. Uh, it's intended to be a PCIe box. Maybe you want a 10G in there. Maybe you have, uh, I don't know, a, a sound card or something else. Any kind of PCIe cards would work. And again, it's got two Thunderbolt ports and a display port. And the power connector is uh, proprietary, or it, it looks like for a hard drive internal or something? Yeah, it's not a proprietary one, but uh, it, it provides more power, yeah. Rather than just a little, little hole port, it's a, you can get more power this way. So, I mean, this allows somebody to harness the power of two GPUs, then, if they need it. I don't know about two GPUs or not. I mean, uh, again, it wasn't intended to work as a GPU box at all. It may be a way of getting it done with two GPUs in there. I don't know. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Now, storage. You guys have, like, the best Thunderbolt storage, I think, that's around, right? I think we do have the best Thunderbolt storage around. We're one of the, you know, the first developers of Thunderbolt storage, and we've been doing it for a long time now, and we know what we're doing. We've made stuff for other companies as well. Uh, I won't go into who those companies are or who they were. Um, some we still make for, some we don't make for anymore. Um, so they trust us, and we trust ourselves, obviously, to, to make good storage that's going to last, and we hope that the customers feel that way, too. And you guys have started with every incarnation uh, of, of Thunderbolt, and now we're up to three. And talk about uh, some of these uh, that we have here. Um, let's just start here. This is our quad mini. It's a four bay, uh, pretty simple, uh, four bay Thunderbolt. It's got four little sleds, and it's for 2.5 inch drives. You can put SSDs, you can put hard drives, whatever you like. It's a software RAID unit. A lot of people I know prefer hardware RAID, but I mean, we think that software RAID is probably the better way to go. Why is that? Well, the hardware RAID companies are usually smaller companies that may or may not be here five years from now. Where software RAID, like if you're using these on a Mac, you're using the, the Apple software RAID. So, I mean, who are you going to trust, some hardware raid guy or trust Apple? Right, right, right. Not everybody trusts Apple, maybe, but for me, I'd rather trust Apple. They rather, they don't, they don't usually release something that doesn't work. Right, right. So, uh, and what we're just doing is we're moving up to more storage, right? Yeah, well, this isn't actually moving up, but this is a slightly different iteration. This we call the, uh, the raid station. It's theoretically a dock with some extra storage. It's got an SD card in the front, which again would be good for Blackmagic uh, cameras like the one you've got. On the back you've got two extra USB ports, an Ethernet port, two Thunderbolt ports, and a uh, display port. And also a little fan switch in case you need to have quiet environments, not like we have here. <laughs> but if you needed that, you know, you'd be all set. Again, this is a toolless design. You open it up really easily. And then the drives also go in, you know, completely toolless, you don't need any screwdrivers or anything. And you can put SSDs in this, you can put hard drives in it, you know, whatever you, you need, really. What about this? This looks like an old cheese grater Mac, almost. It sure does, yeah. yeah. Which I still have. Yep. A lot of people still have them because they're, they're great machines, you know. Um, this is our four bay, it's called the Quad X, one of our best selling products as well. And we're also working on a, what we call a Red Mini Mag Reader. So if you wanted to, you could just put four hard drives in. But if you're using a RED camera, which you're not, but some people do, uh, the RED cameras use these little mag readers, and you just slide one into there, and it'll copy everything over onto the other drives. So pretty easy, pretty quick. Um, again, if you don't want to use that at all, just put four hard drives in or put four SSDs, whatever you prefer. Does it ship with this automatically? Or? It does not, no. It's not available yet. It's just sort of a prototype at this point. but. Uh, you know, our, our plan is uh, to offer it hopefully 
by the end of the summer. But the but this uh, the the Quad X is actually available though. Quad X is available. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it through our resellers, uh, through our distributors. And again, it has a two Thunderbolt ports and a and a Display port. Correct. It'll do about fourteen hundred uh, megabytes a second, so one point four gigabytes a second transfer speeds. And we skipped over one thing. I just want to see what, what is this? Oh, this little guy here. This is a USB three point one Type C. Um, the nice thing about this, it takes two drives, two 2.5 inch, and it's also hardware RAID. It's got a little hardware RAID switch inside, so you can set up RAID 0, RAID 1, JBOD, and uh, it's a much more affordable solution if you don't necessarily need Thunderbolt speeds, but uh, you can also connect it to a Thunderbolt computer because it's a USB Type-C. What about this guy? We didn't talk about him. Oh, this is uh, the NT2. Uh, this one we have uh, available with a uh, USB Type C as well. It's a two bay, 3.5 inch, fairly basic enclosure. Um, but again, it is USB Type C. So if you have a USB computer, it's going to work. If you don't have Thunderbolt, it'll still work. But if you do have Thunderbolt, you can just plug it into the Thunderbolt port and it'll work. Now I want to ask bef uh, before we sign off here. Th this is uh, the network adapter. Yeah, is that this right? This is a 10 gig Ethernet adapter. So I, I have the older one because I have the I have Thunderbolt one or Thunderbolt two, yeah, and it it when it gives you the utmost of whatever your connection speed is. Uh, if we are doing live streaming or something like that, we make sure that we have. It. Yeah, yeah, they're great little units, and uh, it's all aluminum. It's got a heat, built-in heat sink. It's got a little rubber bumper that comes off if you don't want it on there. Um, but it's a great little bus-powered device. You don't have to have it plugged in, which is great. Doesn't take power. Doesn't take power. Just takes it from your computer. So it's a great little thing to have if you need, you know, faster internet. You know, the new MacBook Pros they don't have uh, any Ethernet ports at all. So you plug this in through Thunderbolt, and you have a direct connection now. No, that's a that's a good point. They don't have that. So if you want to make sure you have that that hardline connection, that's what you got to get. All of these products that we've talked about here, except for uh, the uh, the Intel one, and and that one are are available now. Uh, the website is where they should go, right? That's correct. www.akidio.com. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you. Your source for news from Cinegear 2018 Indie Shooter.